On December 4th, 2017, Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker Ryan Shazier made a tackle that caused a spinal injury that paralyzed him. Less than a year later, Ryan walked to the podium and announced the Steelers draft pick. His new book, Walking Miracle, How Faith, Positive Thinking, and Passion for Football Brought Me Back from Paralysis and Helped Me Find My Purpose, tells the story of his remarkable recovery. And he joins us now from Pittsburgh. Ryan, thank you so much for joining us this morning, my friend. And we got to talk about that moment, that moment when you walked across the stage to the podium with your now wife, Michelle, on your arm is so incredible, so incredible to watch. And this was less than a year after your injury. So what was going through your mind at that moment? Michael, I'm not going to lie. I was, I was actually nervous and very scared in this moment because that was actually the farthest I walked without, without my cane. So leading up to that time, me and my trainer and my wife, we all talked about it. And we had to actually just have my training and my rehab tailored to being able to do this. So it was actually a really scary moment, but I also just wanted to thank people for allowing me and just praying for me and just allowing me to be able to do this. So it was really exciting. And, and I could just, just hearing the crowd cheer for you, man. And the thank you for being the inspiration that you are. And, and let's go back, let's go back to the injury. You were driven off the field, teammates and, and, and opponents very upset. And when you got into the tunnel, you made two calls, one to Michelle and the other call to your father. Tell us about those calls. Yeah, so the first call I wanted to make it to Michelle because I just want to let her know that I was going to be all right. I knew that her being home, she's used to me being Superman, so she's, I knew she was scared in that moment. She didn't know what to do, and I just told her, no matter what, I'm going I'm to get through this. I'm going to be all right. Then my second call was my dad. Every time, no matter what, I always talked to him before the game. We prayed before every single game when I was in high school, college, and in the NFL. We prayed before this game, and I just want to call him and just ask him to pray for me, but then also just talk to him about how I'm going to get through this and just and just talk about just overcoming this adversity that I was about to go through. And just like you've done on the football field, you made a game plan for your recovery. So why did that work for you? It, the reason it worked for me is because through life in football, you always have a game plan. You always have uh, goals of where you want to be at. You always have uh, a roadmap. And to me, I, I knew I needed to make a roadmap and treat this like any other rehab. And when you get injured, you know, they always tell you it's steps about where you have to be, where you're going to get. And I just wanted to make a roadmap and, and goals for me to get there. So every time I, I reach a little, like, small goals, I'll call them first downs. And every time I had a big goal, like walking at the draft or, you know, dancing at my wedding, I would consider those as touchdowns. And I just try to use it as the game of football when it came back to my rehab. And, you know, we, we want to talk about uh, one of the things you're focused on as well, outside of dancing. And because I know Dancing with the Stars reached out to you after they saw that video of you dancing at your wedding. But we want to talk about your foundation, the Ryan Shazier Fund for Spinal Rehabilitation. And you started this because of what you saw your fellow patients dealing with. Yeah, I've seen what a lot of people were dealing with. I understood that it was, it was a really difficult journey. Um, I was blessed to be able to have the NFL support and the Steelers support and just so many people around the world supporting me. But then when I'll like walk or roll past other hospital rooms, I wouldn't see as many patients having family members there. I wouldn't see uh, people coming up to rehab as often as I was coming. So I started asking questions about what they were going through. And I started to notice that some people weren't allowed the same amount of rehab because of just how insurance and how things were working for them. Mm -hmm. And then I also just noticed that some people didn't have the same amount of resources. So I wanted to provide something that allowed people to have more resources and rehab to allow them to have independence like I once did. Well, I'm glad you did that, Ryan. Thank you so much. Such an inspiration, my friend. Walking Miracle is out now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.